Hello commanders, welcome to the command table. I am Mathermar and we're going to be taking you through battles 396 through 400 in the journey on Traplight's Battle Legion. We're presently in the Whispering Ruins, so if you like what you see here, please do like, subscribe, and if you want notifications when I drop new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. Okay, let's get right after it. Battle 396. All right. Oh, this one was fun. So we have these two untamed beasts right up front. We've got a couple of frost wizards. We've got a storm caller. We've got a mind corruptor in the middle there. Two groups of archers and two groups of thorn guards. So it's a little dicey trying to get assassins in here to take care of some of these units just because those thorn guards are kind of wrapped around everything. But we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. We've got these assassins here that are going to at least take out that storm caller and then whatever else they get as a bonus. So the main theory behind this one, I've got these two contingency plans in the back here. Uh, both have a, fro a freezing trap, an uh, arcane archer, and a crystal spire. So that's designed to work towards the end. When Frenzy pops, they'll be able to really do some serious damage. Um, these Risen Warriors are intended to function as a delay tactic to pop up behind and to keep everything on this side for as long as possible. They also serve the purpose of not being targetable by these Untamed Beasts. So even though they're directly in front of this one, that he won't be able to see them, so he'll immediately turn on the non-nature units on his side, and they'll both go back and start shredding all this stuff. So it's going to kind of come down to just a few units left once those untamed beasts are done. So let's go ahead and let that one run. Okay, now watch those untamed beasts are going to turn right back around. There goes the storm caller from the assassins, which all die promptly on a thorn guard. And now the archers get a little dicey because they're uh, able to take out one of my arcane archers, but uh, not terribly concerned about that. Okay, there goes the other one. Untamed Beast finish off the archers. And now I don't even need the second set of uh, units down at the bottom because that one freezing trap is enough now that Frenzy pops. So Crystal Spire is now really cranking and goodbye beasts. All right, that was 396, yeah. 396. So let's move on to 397. Okay, this one, I almost wonder why they do these battle wagon ones. They're just too easy. So uh, you really only need just one item in the back that's active in order to hold this whole thing. Uh, because if you just have mine shrooms, it won't let you fight the battle. So I put four groups of mine shrooms on there, and that's just to take these four battle wagons and turn them right back around, have them run through all of their own troops, and then pop up a giant wall of units on the back that's going to kill everything that's left. So if you just want to throw an arcane archer over there, that'll probably be enough. So that, I put a few extra things there just in case. And there it goes. Wow. So four points in mine shrooms turned, what is that, 12 points of battle wagons back around on the enemy and ends up being, yeah, at least 12 points in units on my side. Okay, let's move on to 398. Okay, for this one, there's a bunch of arcane blades. There's two mind corruptors, two giant toads, and a whole lot of mind shrooms. Those are really difficult to deal with. So we're just going to avoid them entirely by having everything come to me. So way back here, I've got two Valkyries, a Monster Hunter, and it's tagged on to two Draining Spirits. So that uh, this is primarily designed to take out all those arcane blades. So the monster hunter is going to be sustained and the draining spirits are going to do most of the work there. Although the monster hunter does have an AOE attack. The uh, risen warriors are intended to mostly just to get rid of these mind shrooms. What, what I was trying to do uh, with my initial setup was to get the timing. And I noticed that in that first time that this monster hunter ran too far ahead to where these mind corruptors were in the mind shrooms. And that means that when everything else is finally dead and the monster hunter can move on to those, it's going to run into those mind shrooms and get flipped and I'm going to lose. So 
if I have these Risen Warriors here, nothing sees it, they all run past it, then they pop up right here, take care of all of those Mind Shrooms, and clears the way for the Monster Hunter to come through and kill whatever's left. Uh, they, I don't know if there is much left for it to get to, but I guess we'll find out real fast. Okay, so here comes everything. Uh, the Arcane Blades are just going to ping pong until they're dead. And there goes my Risen Warriors. They've removed all of the Mind Shrooms. And now it doesn't really matter what's left because nothing can get that Monster Hunter at this point. The only thing that might cause this to fail is if it delays way too long and goes into Frenzy, but uh, clearly we don't have to worry about that this time around. And poof, game over. Okay, so that was 398. Let's move on to 399. Okay, 399. All right, we have a whole lot of wraiths. There's at least three in the back, one, two, three, four in the front. We've got three brutes, two earth elementals, and three frost wizards. So that's a lot of freeze there with those three frost wizards. So we took our freeze immune tank, which is our brute. Um, I think the earth elemental and the molten armors are also freeze immune, but you can't heal a molten armor. And the uh, Earth Elemental I don't think has as much health as the Brute. Um, plus the Brute attacks faster, which is kind of key to this, because I've got the Entangling Roots here. Now that's key as well. Uh, that's going to slow these Wraiths down just enough to where I don't have too many of them hitting the Brute at the same time. And he's going to be able, with his Frontal Cone AoE to attack, to clear out a ton of those. The two Draining Spirits are there to reveal the Wraiths and make it to where the Brute is going to attack them. This uh, one Valkyrie is going to be enough to sustain that Brute. And then we've got a, an Ember Fiend to do some splash AoE damage, which will also help with the Brutes because they have very high health and the Burn does a percentage-based damage. Then we have one group of regular Archers and two Arcane Archers, and that's just to keep everything at a nice distance to where we don't have to worry about these frost wizards too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and let it run. Okay, see those wraiths are all hard, like I don't think hardly any of them make it to the brute. So very easy to keep that brute alive. He doesn't get that uh, really heavy hit from those wraiths. Now all of the enemy brutes are dead and now it's just a matter of working through the earth elementals. The Ember Fiend doesn't do much here because the Earth Elementals are immune to burn, but the two Draining Spirits and the Brute will do a ton, as well as that one group of Archers helps to burn through the first phase of the Earth Elemental. Okay, so there went my Brute, but again, I've got a ton of ranged units, and it's a long way for those Frost Wizards to walk up to get to them, especially with those Entangling Roots there. Okay, one more, and then we'll call it for this video. Okay, this one was great. <laughs> it took me a couple tries to get this one squared away. Um, just a quick note, this Draining Spirit down here, I have uh, Speed 2 on it. So if you're in a first season of an era, you may not be able to pull this trick where it's able to follow and keep up. I don't know if it's fast enough without Speed 2 to stay on that Untamed Beast as it runs this way. It may disappear. So just be uh, wary of that. Uh, hopefully that doesn't cause you any problems. But uh, we're doing the trick where we take these two untamed beasts and we make sure that there's nothing directly in front of them and that will force them to go to the closest unit in their vicinity that's not nature. And that is actually Jormag. So this one's going to run to Jormag. This one is going to run back to, these, uh, to this Death Knight. And the Draining Spirit that's tagged onto it is going to clear out a bunch of those warhounds. Now it doesn't get them all and that's why I've got this entangling root right here because that is going to force all of these warhounds to come to a almost a screeching halt whatever's left of them while the arcane archers and the three crystal spires <laughs> burn them down. This uh, group of risen warriors is kinda to turn some things around and to delay to buy me as much time as possible so that I can get to Frenzy, and that's where the Arcane Archers and the Crystal Spires really, really shine. Um, this uh, Mind Corruptor here, normally I'll have 
a group of assassins dedicated specifically to that, but I figured the Valkyries were more of an issue. So we've got them set up. I uh, took the assassins off and on the battlefield until they had the right formation to where they almost perfectly matched the Valkyries. So they're able to just take them all out very quickly. Um, this freezing trap right here is intended for this mind corruptor. It's going to walk all the way across the map and right before it comes in range of my arcane archers, it's going to be in range of the crystal spires, but it's going to be frozen. So keep your eye out for that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and let it run. So a lot of different tactics going on. There goes a ton of the warhounds. Now they're coming in. You can see them getting slowed. Okay, crystal spires handle them very easily. Risen warriors in the back here now holding things off for as long as possible. Okay, now watch this mine corruptor. It's about to tag that. The both of the untamed beasts are still working on the boss. Uh, he he doesn't even make it <laughs> very far. They're just chipping away at him. Now they don't hit their own earth elementals because they're nature units. Okay, yeah, he didn't even make it across his uh, across the battle line there. And now we're in frenzy, so I didn't even need that freezing trap. And at this point, uh, not terribly concerned about those earth elementals just because I'm cranking so much damage during frenzy. Okay, so that does level 400. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Again, please do like and subscribe. Also, check out the commandtable.com. We're adding new stuff all the time. We've got tutorials, raid strats. We will even soon, in the near future, be adding merch and a comic strip. And we've added a clan hall, so please check that out. But thank you for watching. We'll have more content for you soon.